Uh, well, the first my first thought is is just that uh, you know really proud of Connor Nolan for you know getting over that getting through that first inning. You know he came out and he's a strike thrower and he can't get the ball down. You know a little too amped up, opening up that front side and kind of running away from the ball a little bit. And uh, you know he got it together. He actually got his two double play balls that inning. Uh, should have turned the first one, we didn't, and then the second one. Uh, probably should have turned that one a little better than we did, and uh, fortunate that you know their runner went way out of the line going after the, you know, going after our shortstop. And uh, you know the rule states you have to slide straight into the bag. I mean, it's uh, I don't even think they argued it. Uh, so getting through that inning, you know, I was just hoping we'd get out with one or two runs, which I knew was going to be tough, you know, against Sigma, Sigma, and uh, you know, fortunately they didn't score. We score a run. We just kind of chipped away a little bit and scored another one in the second. Uh, but really, uh, we had a couple of chances to bust it open. We didn't do it. But Franklin came up with a big two-out hit after a couple of mistakes that we made on the bases, uh, I felt like, and, uh, you know, put us up 4 nothing. And, uh, you know, I felt like the way we were pitching four could be enough. We really wanted to get another run in there. We had the runner on, or leadoff man on a couple other times later in the game. And, you know, I don't even know if we moved him off you know, I think we one time we, we got him to second with a semi sack was a push bunt that w wasn't very uh, very good, and but we got a sack out of it, and then you know in the eighth we got the leadoff man on. He never moved off first base. We hit into another double play, and he's a good pitcher. I feel fortunate to beat him, but I thought that our pitchers did a great job. Ramage came in and you know finished it. You know gave us another three innings. Um, <clears throat> made a mistake. Uh, Probably in the eighth there, he had about he had the hitter one two, and he's supposed to throw the breaking ball in the dirt, and he hung it, and he singled up the middle, and uh, you know they kind of got it going a little bit after that, but uh, it might have been the seventh, but uh, you know, Cops and Cronin, just proud of those guys coming in and doing it, and uh, I thought Matt had probably better stuff today than he had last night. Is he available tomorrow? I don't know yet. Uh, it would be a first, maybe, if he was three days in a row. But, you know, he didn't throw very many pitches. So, uh, yeah, I think last night he threw right at 20. Tonight it, it looks like he threw 12. Uh, you know, uh, I would say that he possibly could be ready again for maybe a hitter or two or at the most an inning. But uh, that'll that'll be his call. What did you think of uh, Connor second through fifth? And then when you got him, you know, he was right on the brink of maybe getting that first win, you know. Yeah. You know, it's always tough to pull a guy, especially – when they need one more out, you know, when we have the lead, uh, you know, to, to, to possibly get a lot or get a win. But I guess on the other hand, you don't want to leave him in too long. And that's kind of what we did last time. Um, and he, you know, he, he got hit around a little bit, although the one, the, it was a wind blown home run that, that got him out of the game. But we had such a fresh bullpen. The games are so important that uh, I think Connor would tell you he gets it. And, you know, it's not about him, it's about the team. and. You know, his his wins are coming. So, uh, you know, but I thought his stuff from really this, the second was okay. The third, fourth, and fifth, third, fourth were really good. I mean, he had his breaking ball rolling. Even in the even in the fifth, I thought he, you know, threw the ball pretty good to the first hitter or two. But, uh, you know, he, he recovered, did a tremendous job. And, uh, you know, he ate up some innings there. Uh, it would have been bad for us to, you know, burn up a bunch of our bullpen guys when we're trying to catch a guy like, Sikama and he's going the whole game and they're leaving their bullpen, you know, ready to try to win the series on Sunday if we don't come back and win. So for us to for, for Connor to give us an opportunity to get into the game a little bit and then for us to get the lead and, and to win it ended up being huge for us. Well the the base hit was huge because we ran a safety a safety bunt, uh, the the hitter before and the pitch has to be kind of down the middle of the way. You have to bunt the ball at the first baseline. If you don't like the pitch, don't bunt it. Well, the fact, it was a fastball down and in. It's almost impossible for a right-handed hitter to bunt that ball down the line. And uh, he bunted it pretty much back to the mound. We don't get anything out of it except an out. And, you know, and then uh, Franklin goes down one, two count, maybe fouls off a pitch. And then, you know, I think he hit up. It was either a changeup or a curveball. I'm not sure what it was. Something off speed, and he smoked it right back through the middle. It was a it was a big relief to get at least one of those in. I felt bad that we didn't. Felt like oh, I shouldn't have bonded him, but uh, you know everybody's got to execute. Pitcher did a good job of locating the pitch in. You know should have taken it, but 
you know, Franklin kind of, he, he pulled us out right there. That was a big hit. And then what a great catch, you know, you never know what, what's going to happen. And it's a big, strong kid at the plate. He's got some serious power. I watched his BP the both days and he's launching balls. So, uh, you know, anything could happen, especially on a day like this, wind's blowing out, the air's thin and you can miss it a ball. If you catch it just right, it's, it still can get out of the park. had to send a mat out in the first inning, but what do you think he said and what Connor's response was? Uh, I'm, I just I just told him to go out there and calm him down a little bit and settle him down. And I, I would say that what he what he, he was talking a little bit of mechanics with him and it was about keeping his front side, front side closed. He was kind of running away from his, his arm, you know what I'm saying? And, and he's leaving everything up and out and that's not him. He got his first pitch, he throws right where he wants it, kind of got it together after that. It wasn't... There was no motivation in that talk. It was more uh, just trying to get some things straightened out me mechanically because, you know, he's got good stuff. And sometimes you just get out of whack a little bit, probably a little hyped up. And, uh, you know, what a great crowd, beautiful day. And, uh, you know, kid wanted to do well. I just think that he needed to calm down a little bit and go back to what got him, got him pitching on the weekend. And that's staying under control, and he did it.